Hey VC, I know it's been a long time. Uh, haven't been buying as many records. Yeah, I've been trying to trade in more. But um, I'm actually going to show some CDs this time. And records, of course. But I'm going to show more CDs because simply because I've been buying more CDs. Because I have been tr uh, commuting to school this semester and I'll be commuting the rest of my college career and it's a 30 minute drive down to UT and it's a 30 minute drive back and I get up at 6 in the morning and I leave my house at 7 to get there at 7.30 and I'm there from 7.30 a.m. to 7.20 p.m. so I'm there about 12 hours and I, there's not much time I can listen to records so I've been buying more CDs simply because of that reason and I've been buying a lot more CDs because I've been trying to transition my collection uh, there's just a ton of stuff that I used to listen to in high school and middle school and all that kind of stuff that I would pick up and think you know I'm only gonna listen to this once or twice or never again so I've just been getting rid of a lot of stuff. I've probably gotten rid of at least a hundred CDs lately. And I've been getting some stuff I'm uh, more interested in. So, one of the stores I go I'm going to show the CDs first. So, one of the stores I go to, it's a very, very large store. They have tens of thousands of CDs. Maybe hundreds of thousands of CDs. It's huge. And, um... They, they usually price stuff that they don't know what it is really cheap. And so I've been getting some extremely good deals on some of the stuff they have there. And so I'm going to start with this one. This was a complete blind buy. I bought it because there's two songs on it. It was on the record label TP. It just had to be good. So it's a band called Ancestors. And this is, when I, the first 10 seconds of this, I was like, Wow, this is awesome. This is basically Doom Prog, I guess you call it. Because it's got Doom elements, and then it'll go into, I guess, Prog uh, Acid, I don't know, kind of jam band, acid, acid jam band, I guess that's what you call it. But uh, this is band is Ancestors, which I already said that. And Neptune with Fire, this is their first album, and I got this for $3. That's how good price this place is. Three dollars and it's perfect condition. There's not a single scratch on the CD. If this if it was scratched they'd probably price it for a dollar. But Blind Buy turned out to be awesome. So if you're into that kind of music, pick that up. This one I got today from some trade. And it's from 2009. It's Astra, the Weirding. Another new prog group. And five bucks or four dollars, I can't even remember. I think it was five dollars, but really cheap, really good. Uh, next, got this there. This was this was a little bit more expensive. I think it was eight dollars. Uh, Can unlimited edition. This is the super audio disc with the the gold. I don't really know what the difference is of that. If you know, tell me. But perfect condition once again. Um, I got these there. Uh, this was five dollars. Graveyard. Graveyard. This one was eight dollars. This one I've had a long time. I got this one a long time ago. And the well, this one was Hizzy Jin Blues. And this one is Lights Out, the newest one. And all perfect condition. This was like six bucks. Uh, this was a great deal. Cadavers, first album. I already have this on vinyl, but three dollars. This one I got another place. I was pretty surprised to find this. Mass Don's first EP. This is five, five dollars, four or five dollars. Perfect condition. Bought this new. This is Mastodon's uh, first album, Remission, the uh, uh, remaster or the new one that came out this year. So, it's got the booklet. The reason I'm buying all these Mastodon CDs is because I'm actually going to see them next week. Come to Knoxville. Um, 
Got this for eight dollars at the big store. Bought this one new. Uh, Mount Salem. Female vocalist metal. It's up. It's pretty good. I uh, got this. Been trying to get more into Opeth. I've only had one of their albums. It's uh, the acoustic slash softer album, which was called uh, Damnation. I think I could be wrong. I'm not an Opeth expert, but this one they had sealed at use price. It's got a little corner cut right there, but this was awesome. I I dug this. What we're actually listening to right now. This is a new band, and it's really, it's basically a new Judas Priest, if you like Judas Priest, and it, it's an awesome record. This this actually I bought new just from Blind, blind, blah, blind Buy, because I thought the cover was awesome, and today I actually had to go buy the vinyl, I liked it so much. So if you like 80s, it's, it's, it's kind of, uh, you can hear, but uh, it's kind of more, it's kind of... Judas Priest, more but more thrashy. That's what I classify it as. Uh, Uncle Acid, Mind Control. I'm almost done with the CDs. Uh, Pilgrim. This is their second album. Void Worship 2, I think. Or 2. Good Doom. I had to get this. I love this soundtrack. Jurassic Park soundtrack. And the last CD... It's another Doom band. I'm really into Doom right now. Moss. It's awesome. They don't even have a basis, but this is heavy as heck. Alright, moving on to the vinyl. That's what you're all here to see, isn't it? So, obviously I don't have very much new, new more vinyl, but start with the 7-inch. I got this today. $3 on this. Awesome price. It's a mini EP, Uri EP. Sweet Freedom. It's got four songs on it. There's the disc. Great condition. Really happy to find that. And I would show you this, but it's on purple vinyl. Awesome. It's got an insert in it. And it's the back. But it, it's it's good. Every song is good. Guitar work is great. Can't say enough good things about this record. I got this when this came, the day this came out, so that was a while ago. Electric Wizard, Time to Die. This the gatefold. This one, for those of you that haven't seen this, comes with a poster as well. I'm sure most of everyone's seen this. Big old poster. Um, it also came with cigarette rolling paper. I thought that was kind of odd. Never had an album that comes with that before. Um, I don't even smoke, but I went up and purchased that album, and um, I didn't get what I, I saw online came with something, but I didn't know what it was, so. I got up there and uh, I asked for it, and he looked at me like I was crazy. I didn't know what it was, and then he goes, you know, I mean, it came with cigarette rolling paper, and I, I'll take it. You gotta have the complete package, don't you? And then, um, actually, it didn't, never had a, well, I have had, but it was not good condition. Uh, uh, this is an original, but this is a late 70s press, but an original Led Zeppelin. But this one, I use, I've always been looking for the perfect copy, and this is it. I mean, let's just you guys see this. That's how far the gate from it is. I mean, if you open this, it crack. That's how good condition it is. The vinyl is just immaculate as well. And they didn't just have one Led Zeppelin, but I got an upgrade copy of 
presents. They had Led Zeppelin 4, which I don't have, but it was, the uh, cover was a little damaged. I couldn't buy it. They were a pretty good price. It's hard to find Led Zeppelin in good condition, so I had to buy it. Next one, I um, kind of bought this because one of my favorite bands is The Sword, and every time I type them in on the internet, so this band also comes up. Sword, 80s thrash band, I guess. Thrash, I guess. I don't think it's full on thrash, but it's it's heavier than some stuff. And it's on combat. Combat. It's pretty good. I've only listened to the first uh, side of this. I, I, I thought it was pretty good. Um, and last but not least, I thought this was a steal. Uh, this is a repress from 72. Unicorn, Tyrannosaurus Rex. My T Rex's first album. I think this is the third. Could be completely wrong. If I'm wrong, just tell me. Um, but it's great condition. It's on a label I've never seen before. Blue Thumb Records. It's just perfect condition. For the price, I thought it was a great price when I got this. I guess you're wondering what I paid for it. I mean, I think this was a good price. You guys might think I'm, I overpaid, but I paid $15 for this. I thought, I mean, I never see this. You never even see T-Rex albums around here. And to find this for 15 bucks, I thought that was a, that was a great price. But yeah, that's all I got. So thanks for watching. A little long for my videos, but see you guys later.